back to my channel. Today we're having an eye look and we're going to be using a beautiful palette, a beautiful brand and a brand that I started getting myself really, 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 really into. I'm also wearing their highlights, huh? But anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. I will be putting everything that I'm wearing on my face down below, but just to give it a little bit brief, I have Smashbox Photo Finish, the pore minimizer on my face as my primer. Then I have a foundation which is the CoverGirl Effect. It's the Elixir one. Then for my, um, just a bit of concealer going on just to highlight a little bit, I have the Makeup Revolution one. Contouring, I'm just using a powder which would be the Butter Bronzer which is my favorite if you guys have been following me. This is like my favorite bronzer. As a highlighter, I have the um, Juvé's palette the highlighter, the loose powder one. On my eyebrows, I have Makeup Revolution. And then, what else, what else, what else, what else? I'm looking at myself on the camera just to make sure everything's good. Oh, setting spray, Mario Badescu. And then, um, that's it. We're gonna start with our eyeshadow. I don't need to prime my eyes because this baby works. We're doing a nice, subtle eye look, subtle. Who? I'm not a subtle person, okay? Not a subtle person. But I'm going to start in jumping in with this eyeshadow palette. And this will be the only one I'm going to be working with, okay? Okay. Ooh. I need my brush cleaner. Hold on. If you move from eyeshadow to eyeshadow constantly, you're going to need one of these babies. What this does is that as soon as you are finished applying the eyeshadow you have on your eyes, you're going to just grab your brush and you're going to whisk it in there and it automatically cleans your brush. Just a tip for you guys who love 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 using multiple eyeshadows and just have minimal brushes your girl needs to go buy brushes but right now you know we're, we're, we're gonna work with what we have we're gonna do this baby right over here which is an amazing product i've so far tried two of their palettes three actually and i love it i absolutely love their palette and the graphic design is so beautiful like it's such a memorizing like there's so much work in here so much detail and it's just a beautiful product so we're gonna start off with this eyeshadow, this is the only eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using on my eye, and let's get to work. Right over here, you have nine different shades. If you guys can see, look at this palette. So much detail is in here. Now, from the top row, most of the names I'm not going to be able to pronounce, but you have about three mattes, and the rest of them are almost... I don't want to say glitter. They're not Saturn. They're just, like, very metallic colors. You have a bright one there. You have, like, a nice dark chocolate one there you have like the copper your gold you know so there's a lot of pretty colors that you that you can actually use you can either go settle or you can go all the way to the home run you could go big with this palette so this is actually my first time trying this palette out but i tried out other palettes so they have really great quality so i have high expectations on this baby right over here so we're going to start off by applying a base so i'm going to go with this one right over here it's called anosh uh oh I may not be like the best pronunciating of these colors. Now, the beauty of this palette is that there's not much fallout on the item. Like literally everything's on the brush. And I have not had a problem so far with any of these eyeshadows. Which is another plus. Alrighty there. I just applied my first base. Now I'm going to go in with this one right over here. Just go about three, four. And then go one, two here. Just to give a little bit of between. And we're going to start applying this on our crease. And again, I'm using the same brush as well and do our other eye. We're going to go in again with the same one, but without adding the lighter shade. And we're going to go ahead and just darken it up a little bit more. And again, I'm using the same brush for this, literally the same freaking brush. We're going to clean it out. Go in with the light color right over here. Apply it on our lid again. And now we're going to go ahead and grab the darkest shade, which would be Minu. It's like a nice chocolate brown. And then we're just going to go ahead and start applying this in our outer crease. Now, you could go as heavy as you want or as light as you want. It always depends on you. Alrighty now. Once we have this going on, we're going to go ahead and use one of the metallic colors in this eyeshadow. Now... I've definitely been eyeballing this one right over here that's called, I can't even pronounce it, but it's like a beautiful, like, dark copper. And then right over here, you have like a more like a red brick. Look at the difference. Do you guys see this? 
and they are literally like so freaking buttery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna apply this on our eyes with our finger. Oh my goodness. This is hella pigmented. Wow. I was not expecting that much. I kind of feel like I went a lot. Okay. That's okay. Let's use all the ones that we have on our finger now. It's just fine. We will... Ooh. Oh, wow. Like, dragged... Like, yo! This is hella pigmented. I'm gonna go again with my brush. We're gonna blend it out a little bit. Let's just let's just blend as much as we can. Oh yeah, she does. Here you go. What is this? I don't know. It just came out the door. Chris said hi. Okay. Hi, Chris. She said hi, Chris. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Let me meet you. <laughs> Since when is a box so damn hard to open? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I said that on camera. No, yeah, you, you really didn't. Okay. You sight languaged it to okay. me. But either way... Oh my god, that was hard! She woke up at their house again. Oh wow, okay influencers. I do- Whoa! Alright influencers, we got a new box! You know, I actually haven't been doing them because of the holidays and I do apologize for them. But OMG, we got a Venus razor because you need to have your legs plain shaped, armpits, again, optional areas, depending on you. I like razors. This is actually a cool razor. It has a flex ball on it. Okay. Then we have a coconut hibiscus shea butter balm. All right, you know. Ooh, we have a sinful color. Sinful color came out with eyeliners? Alrighty now, then we have a, oh, dry shampoo. I do not mind. Oh, okay. Oh, what's going on? Am I not know how to do this? Oh, whoa, okay. Wow, that was very, very powerful and very potent. My hair looks hella gray. Or right, we're gonna have to try to mess with that later okay what is this congrats 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 hello rock star there's really no other way to put this but you're an amazing you earn an amazing inside box for the influence nation oh huh how cute okay i'll be taking a picture of this thanks influencer i mean i i've been really bad though but oh, thank you that kind of fell out. Alrighty guys, so now that we have this going on, we have a nice neutral tone eyeshadow. We're gonna go ahead and get some raccoon eyes. We're gonna grab another small blending brush. Look at it. Oh, got that brush. And, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just grab Kenu, Kenu. And we're gonna put this under right here. Okay, Mir, work with me. Too high. We're gonna grab another fluffier brush and we're gonna go with Milan, which is a darker one, and we're gonna do the same thing. Alrighty, now, now that we're looking sultry, we're all done with this eyeshadow. Now we're gonna put on our eyelashes and our mascara, and then we should be set. We're gonna be using the Voluminous Parrots from L'Oreal, which is like one of my favorite currently. We're gonna apply this on our lashes. Alright now, so this is our final look. The eyelash glue is still currently drying. I didn't wait that long. But so far, this gold is freaking amazing. What do we look? It's supposed to be a simple look, but we kind of went a little bit more glamorous, which is fine. I'm just wearing a regular t-shirt from Target. And then, let's see. And then we have some VS um, yoga pants, which I like because they have pockets on the side. And who doesn't look good with pockets? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video.